Next on Street Smarts, it's always a guessing game. Finish the title of this long-running Broadway musical. Fiddler on the what? The guy around. He's not going to know this one? I hope not. <laughs> roof, roof, there roof. There you go. Oh, was a rich man, you know? But sometimes it pays to be wrong. What president was the author of the Monroe Doctrine? Uh, JFK. What was it about? Uh, Marilyn Monroe. Oh, right. Street Smarts. Think you've got them? Find out now. Hi, my name is Frank Nicotero, or as most people shout when they see me, hey, it's the Street Smarts guy. Anyway, I travel the country asking people questions, then I come back here with their answers. Then it's up to our two in-studio contestants to guess who came up with the smart answers and who didn't. And here are our players. We have the lovely Nicole right there. Look how cute. And then it's Pat. It's Pat. Now, don't forget, you're entering a battle, and since only the winner walks out of here with any cash, I'd suggest winning. Let's meet our free street scholars now. First up, Liz spends some time hanging out with us on her birthday and gets my booty in a pinch. Okay, Liz, it is your birthday today. Yes. And what have you done for your birthday? We went to eat um, lunch by the beach. Woo! Woo! And then you go out and you, you go dancing, you go drinking? You know what? I only rave. <laughs> oh, okay, all right. Follow me, follow these, follow these. <laughs> <laughs> now, Liz, you do the booty-licious dance? Yeah. You want to be my booty? Sure. All right. Booty-licious, booty-licious. Oh, I don't know if you're ready for this jelly. <laughs> what? Come on. Twist, twist. <laughs> my Destiny's Child yeah. reference. Next up, Winrich explains how his parents came up with his name. So your first name is Winrich. Tell me the origin of this name. My parents, they wanted parents. you to win the lotto, right? right? So they were like, man, we want you to win, and we want you to be rich. So let's just combine it, yo. And they call you Win Rich. Rich. Yeah, that'll be straight. I love my parents, though. <laughs> What's the last book you read? Oh, uh, probably like uh, Infinity Wars by, with the X-Men and stuff. Oh, okay. That's, that's what was cool, yeah. <laughs> All right, that's yeah. Win Rich. And finally, Beth from Chicago keeps up her Midwest, Midwest nice girl routine until the bitter end. Beth, what was your worst subject in high school? Math. You didn't like math? I hated math. I think a lot of people hated math. Yeah, I had a great teacher, but I just couldn't get it. If they were going to make a movie about your life, who's going to play you? What actress? Julia Roberts. She's going to play you? Yes, yeah, definitely. She's a pretty woman. You're a pretty woman. Yeah, we're pretty women, you know? If you only had 24 hours to live, what do you do on that last day? See? Go skydiving. Skydiving? Because it's such a thrill. What would be the last thing you would scream if your shoot didn't open? I don't think I can say that on television. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, guys, the first round is called Who Knew It? Okay, all three of our Avenue academics were asked the same question. You guys got to guess who came up with the right answer. You lock in your choice, and if you predicted it right, you get 100 bucks, all right? Yeah. Okay, guys, let's get rolling. There we go. It's the first question I asked to Liz, Winrich, and Beth. What part of Sammy Davis Jr.'s body was made of glass? So, yeah, who knew it? What do you think, Nicole and Pat? Do you think it was Liz, Winrich, or Beth? You can tell me that. Lock in an answer as soon as you guys can. Who you think knew it? Looks like Pat's almost ready. Nicole, looks like she's ready. You're both locked in. Winrich and Beth, you guys are thinking. Huh? Pat, you think Beth knows? Yeah, definitely. I think uh, she's uh, the Chicago crowd, in crowd. Okay. She knows a little bit about, about Sammy. All right, Pat, let's see if that pays off for you. What part of Sammy Davis Jr.'s body was made of glass? Um, his... His hand? He had a glass hand? Yeah. Why did he have a glass hand? He was little, you know? So. <laughs> that for you need... He hurt his hand and uh. they had to replace it. I'm sorry, Pat, that's not a right answer. Strategy didn't pay off. Beth had no clue on that one. Now, Nicole, when Rich is gonna come through is what you're thinking, huh? Yeah, he seems like a cool cat, maybe okay. he knows. A little slick. All right, let's find out if he is. What part of Sammy Davis Jr.'s body was made of glass? Oh, man. His... His eye? That's right. His eye. He had a glass eye. He had a glass eye. See, I'm pretty smart. No, man. I, I, I didn't be smart. It was like the show. <laughs> That's it. Way to go, Nicole. He got it right. Winrich, right. no. Yeah. And just for fun, just for fun, I want to show you guys what Liz said on this one. What part of Sammy Davis Jr.'s body was made of glass? His leg? He had a glass leg? Why not? Because he does tap dance, doesn't he? Right, exactly. <laughs> Yeah, man, a glass man. I don't do impressions. All right, <laughs> that was really bad. All right, here's the next question, guys. I asked all three, what country do Danish people come from? Who knew it? What do you think? Liz, Winrich, or Beth can tell me where Danish people come from. Pat is just staring off into space. <laughs> One of them knows this? I swear to God. All right, you guys both locked in. We have a Beth, we have a Liz. Now, uh, you think Liz knows Pat? Yeah, this time I think uh, she's going to redeem herself on that Sammy remark. Though. Okay, let's see if it pays off. 
Liz, what country do Danish people come from? Denmark. There you go. It is Denmark. It is? Yeah. That's a right answer. Fat way to go. You got 100 bucks. Good for you. You're on the board on a call. Beth, I don't think she got it right. Let's see what she said. What country do Danish people come from? Um, Sweden. They come from Sweden? Yeah. I thought those were Swedes. Danish land? Danish land, yeah. exactly. <laughs> Yeah, Dana Shine is all right. Nicole, I'm sorry I can't give you 100 bucks for, for a bet there. But we got a tie game. We got one more question in this round before we go to Who Blew It. I asked all three, what kind of animal is a heron? What kind of animal is a heron? What do you think? Who knew it? Liz, Winrich, or Beth? A hush falls in the studio audience. All right. Okay, you guys are both locked in. We got a Liz. We got a Beth. Let's see. You think Liz knows, huh, Nicole? Yeah, she, you know, she might know it. Okay. Well. <laughs> all right, let's take a look, see if we can get the 200 bucks. What kind of animal is a heron? 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 Is that an insect? It's an insect of some sort? <laughs> Something like that. You know, I didn't know this one either. It's a bird. Oh, it is? Yes. Oh. Yeah, Nicole, Liz didn't know that. Now, Pat, you're thinking Beth might know this? Yeah, she's out in the woods. Well, so you got a one in two chance yeah. of either Winrich or Beth. You went with Beth. Let's see. What kind of animal is a heron? A heron? Um, a bird. Yeah. It is a bird. Yeah. Right. I had never heard of that. I never heard of that. I just a good educated guess. Okay. Yeah. Way to go, Pat. She got it right. Takes up to $200. I did not know that. I have to be honest. All right, Nicole, you got $100. bucks. pat has got $200. Yeah. Believe it or not, the answers get even more ridiculous when Street Smarts return. All right, that's Liz, in what state is New Orleans located? New Orleans. New Orleans. Street smarts. Let's meet our players. We have the lovely Nicole here. Now, Nicole, you work at a mall. You work at a watch store in, in El Cajon. Mm -hmm. And what happened one day at the mall? Saw a oh, cute guy. Oh gosh! I, my, me and my friends were shopping, and we saw a cute guy. So we turned around really fast, and we ended up slipping in a puddle. So it was really embarrassing. Now, whenever we see a cute guy, we say, "I'm slipping." Right. Oh, I heard you say that. All right. When I walked on stage, you said that. Okay, Pat, you're from Gary, Indiana. You're a writer. Yes. Now, a radio had a contest. A radio program uh, had a contest to win a car, and what did you do to win a car? Uh, I had to eat a tree. You ate a tree? How big of a tree? About, about five feet, it was a pear tree. You ate a tree, and yeah. you got a car? Got a car. Yeah. He'll do anything to get, a, to get some money or a prize. Nice job, guys, thanks for being here. Recapping the scores, let's see here. Pat, you got 200 bucks, Nicole's got 100 bucks. Botched it, screwed it up, no matter how you slice it, we're gonna determine who blew it. In round two, there's only two Brainiacs at a time. I asked them the same question, and they gave me different answers. You guys have to predict who was wrong, and you get 200 smackaroos. Yeah. 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 And then there is the dunce cap. If you hear a question you think will confuse your opponent, bang that buzzer in and dunce them. If they correctly answer, uh, if they incorrectly answer the question, you get 200 bucks. If they answer it correctly, they get the 200 bucks, and you're the dunce. But you can only use it once this round, so be careful. Here's the first question I asked to both Winrich and Beth. I asked them both, which president was the author of the Monroe Doctrine? Oh my god, Nicole is dust pad. Nicole, throw that cap up on Pat's head. 200 bucks on the line here, Pat. If you get it right, the money's yours. If not, it goes to Nicole. Uh, I'm going to read it again. Well, you have five seconds. I'm going to read okay. it again. Which president was the author of the Monroe Doctrine? I'm going to have to go with Monroe. That's the right answer. Way to go, Pat. Throw that cap on Nicole. Nicole trying to dunce you on that one. Sorry. The guy ate a tree, for God's sakes. All right, guys. <laughs> so who do you think missed this one, Winrich or Beth? Go ahead, lock in as soon as you can. Let me know who you think won. <laughs> Need a tree. All right, you guys are you're locked in. Now, uh, Pat, you think Beth doesn't know this? Oh, huh? uh, not knows? at all. No, she's been having a hard time that first round, so I'm uh -huh. gonna stick with her. All right, let's take a look. Which president was the author of the Monroe Doctrine? Uh, JFK. JFK wrote the Monroe Doctrine. And what was what was it about when JFK wrote the Monroe Doctrine? Uh, Marilyn Monroe. Oh, right, because they say he kind of... Monroe Doctrine, yeah. Him, he messed around with her? With Marilyn Monroe, yeah. And supposedly Robert Kennedy also? Yeah, she got around. <laughs> she blew away to go, Pat. Yeah. I never screwed around with Marilyn. Uh, Nicole, you think Winrich blew it, but he did, and he actually got it right. Watch this. What president was the author of the Monroe Doctrine? Monroe Doctrine? That was... Uh, I don't know. I don't want to say Monroe. But I'll say Monroe. It is Monroe. You got it. Oh, all right. Well, yeah. Someone thought it was JFK because he was messing around with Marilyn Monroe. That's not right. Boo. I give that thumbs down for that answer. <laughs> oh, Beth, Winrich is calling you out. Sorry, Nicole. Winrich knew that. 
Okay, here's a question uh, I asked to Liz and Winrich. I asked both of them. Finish the title of this long-running Broadway musical, Fiddler on the What? So who blew it? Liz or Winrich cannot tell me this one, guys. What do you think? Who blew it? And lock in any second now. Pat, did you lock in? Yes, I did. Well, I'll press it again. Okay, there you go. Okay, there you go. You both locked in. You think Winrich blew it? Nicole, he's not going to know this one? I hope not. Okay, Pat, do, Pat you agree? Nah. Okay, let's find out. 200 bucks. Finish the title of this long-running Broadway musical. Oh, it's Fiddler on the what? Roof, roof, oh, roof. There you go. Yep. You know about it. I was a rich man, you know? You yeah. Go. Oh, oh, oh. that in school. <laughs> I'm sorry, you guys both had Winrich. He got that right. right for a wrong answer. Liz. Liz, finish the title of this long-running Broadway musical. Fiddler on the what? The, the, huh? The Fiddler on the what? The Fiddler on the... Something. Run? Fiddler on the run? <laughs> It was about a guy who played fiddle who was constantly running, running around. Exactly. How did the fiddle sound when he was running? Boom, boom. It's a bass fiddle. <laughs> All right, Liz, Liz All got right. that wrong. Here's the last question uh, of the round, guys, to Liz and to Beth. It's the ladies' turn. I asked both of them, if you wrote an autobiography, who would it be about? So which one blew it? One of them blew it, Liz or Beth, what do you guys think? All right, lock in when you get a chance. Okay, you guys both locked in. Oh, one thinks Liz, one thinks Beth. You think Beth blew it, huh, Pat? She's my money gal. Okay, let's see if it works. <laughs> Beth, if you wrote an autobiography, mm -hmm. who would it be about? Um, probably Audrey Hepburn. You'd write one about, that's the autobiography you'd write about Audrey Hepburn? Mm -hmm. Big fan of her? Yeah, she's really interesting. Right, so you'd write the autobiography. Yeah. <laughs> She blew up, Pat. Nice job. That's another $200 for you. I'm sorry, Nicole. Liz got that one right. It would be about you or autobiography. You know, you. Right. Mine would be, look, the street smarts guy. Let's recap the scores. Nicole's got 100 bucks. Pat on fire with 800 Up next, the players pick their favorite student of the streets. Stick around. Welcome back. Ready for round three? It's time to pick your pony. Now, Nicole and Pat will each lasso themselves to one of the three folks in the field and ride them for the entire round, trying to guess how they how they'll answer three questions. What's at stake? $300 a question. The dunce cap is back. It's now worth 300 bucks also, and you can only use it once. Recapping the scores. Nicole, you got 100 bucks. Yeah. Pat's got 800 bucks. Yeah. Don't worry. Things can change in this round fast. And Nicole, you're up first. And uh, who do you want to choose? I chose Beth. You're going to go with Beth? All right, good choice. Pat, how about you? I'm taking Winrich. You're going to go with Winrich. All right. Nicole, first question to you that I uh, asked Beth. I asked her, what common product has an octane rating? Do you think she got that right or wrong, Nicole? 300 bucks can uh, cut the lead down to 400 bucks here. I think... What do you think? Lock it I in as quick. I think she got it wrong. Think she got it wrong? Let's find out. What common product has an octane rating? An octane rating? Shampoo? Shampoo. Yeah. Like what, what octane rating shampoo do you use? Um, two. So you use like the regular. You don't yeah. use the Supreme. Right. <laughs> she got it wrong. Way to go, Nicole. Shampoo is not the correct answer. The correct answer is gasoline. Fuel, baby. All right, Pat, here's your first question to win, Rich. I asked him, in what country is the Mojave Desert located? So uh, what do you think? Think he got it right or wrong, Pat? He got it right. He got this one he right? He got it right. Okay, let's see if we can get you up to 1100 bucks. In what country is the Mojave Desert located? Mojave? Holy jeez. Uh, that's in <laughs> Saudi Arabia? Saudi Arabia. It's very hot over there. Yeah. It's the desert yeah, war was yeah, Desert that's Storm. Good. Yeah, okay. exactly, man. That's, you got it, man. <laughs> I'm glad you know. He got it wrong. I'm sorry, Pat. He got that wrong. The correct answer, Mojave Desert was located... California, USA. United States, the country. All right, Nicole, you're, you can really, you can close the gap to 100 bucks here. I asked Beth, what kind of trees do pine cones come from? What do you think? Think she got that right or wrong? The crowd moans. What do you think, Nicole? Uh, I think she got it right. You think she got it right? All right, let's check it out. What kind of trees do pine cones come from? Elm trees. Pine cones? Oh, wait. Pine trees. Pine trees? Yeah. No. Oh. Pine cones come so from, from pine, pine trees? They have pine trees? Yeah. They do? <laughs> she, she got it wrong. I'm sorry, Nicole.
Well, she's from Chicago. Maybe they don't have a lot of pine trees in the Windy City. Or maybe the Windy City blows them all down. But the correct answer is um, pine trees. Yeah, all right, yeah. All right, Pat, next question to Winrich. During a leap year, what month gets an extra day? I think he got that right or wrong, Pat. He's got to get this one right. He's going to get this one right? Got it. All right, let's check it out. During a leap year, what month gets an extra day? February. I know that by heart, boy. February. How many days are in a year? Oh, crap. <laughs> 406? 406 in a year? And during leap year, we have 407. Yeah, because you know, you Extra have to day. have one day. Right, okay. So I'll, that would be my guess, 406. Yeah, no, I, that's, that's my answer. <laughs> <laughs> we got it right, way to go, Pat. The question wasn't days of the year. It was, uh, it was the month in February, you got it right. Okay, Nicole, here's the last question of the round for you to Beth. I asked her, what is the word limo short for? I think she got that I right think or she wrong. got that one right. She got She's got to right? get something right. Yeah, well, let's find out. Beth, what is the word limo short for? Um, limousine. Have you ever been in a limo? Yeah. What was the occasion? Prom. Oh, for your prom. How was your prom? Was it a nice storybook date? No. Ended how? Bad? Uh, yeah, my, fr my prom date ran off with my friend. <laughs> she got it right, Nicole. Way to go. Sad story. You got yeah. the 700 bucks. Nice job. All right, Pat, you, got a, you have a $400 lead here. You can open it up to a $700 lead. Uh, I asked Winrich, if you're on a lunar mission, where are you going? Oh, you've been dunched, Nicole, by Pat. $300 on the line. You can really come to his lead here, Nicole. I'm going to read it again. You have five seconds to answer the question. If you're on a lunar mission, where are you going? To the moon. That's a correct answer. Way to go, Nicole. Throw that cup on Pat. You're up to 1000 bucks. Nice job. All right, Pat, if you want to make some money on this question, you have to predict whether Winrich got it right or wrong. I'm going with the right guy. You're going right. You yeah. look very funny with that. Thank you. Right. <laughs> Winrich, if you're on a lunar mission, where are you going? To the moon. There you go. Going straight to the moon. Did you moon. ever go, did you ever be an astronaut, go to space? Hell no, man. Why that looks like a lot of work, man. <laughs> I think just lay there. Five hours just to go up and then come back down. Good Lord, man. I can't even take pictures up there, man. That's a right answer, Pat. Way to go. Another 300 bucks for you. Let's recap the scores. Nicole, you're up to 1,000 bucks. You yeah. made 900 bucks that round. Pat's still in the lead, though. He has $1,400. When we return, Nicole and Pat will be making a final prediction on a question I asked to Liz, Winrich, and Beth. I asked them, according to the Bible, how many commandments did God give to Moses? You know, the first commandment was, thou shall not miss. The wager. Don't kick the bucket, baby. All right. Hey, welcome back. We got a great show here right now. Nicole and Pat, here's the scoop. During the break, you each picked one of our street sta savvy citizens, predicted whether they would get it right or wrong, and wagered some or all of your current cash total. Nicole, big comeback in round three, thousand bucks. Pat, fourteen hundred bucks to hold on to the lead. Now remember, no second chances, no second place. It's winner takes all. And here's a question I asked to Liz, Winrich, and Beth. According to the Bible, how many commandments did God give to Moses? Want to get your choices. Nicole, you're trailing by only 400 bucks, but you're hot right now, so whose clip do you want to see? I'm going to go with Winrich. Go ahead, Winrich. Go ahead, lock it in. Let me see it. It is Winrich. Pat, you got the lead. Yes, and, and uh, I want to win rich with Winrich. Winrich with yeah. Winrich. Very nice. That means nobody picked Liz or Beth. Oh, okay, um, we're going to say bye to them. You got 1000 bucks. Pat's got 1400 One clip in the show, Winrich. Let's watch, see what happens. According to the Bible, how many commandments did God give Ten. to Moses? Ten. Ten commandments? Ten commandments. That is the right answer. Ten commandments is right. Now, Nicole, you went with Winrich. We just saw him get it right. What did you say? I also said that he was going to get it right. You said he would get it right? Very nice. How much did you wager of your $1,000? I wagered. You wagered 1000 You went for all takes him 2000 Nicole is in the lead. She's trying to mount an insurmountable comeback. Now, Pat, you went with Winrich also. We saw him say 10. That is a right answer. Pat, what did you say he would do? I said he would get it right. You said he'd get it right. Now, Pat, you had $1,400. You had to wager anything over $600 to win the game. What did you wager? $1,400. Very nice. What have we learned today? Well, Beth, I know you're a big fan of the show, but I just want to remind you, Pine cones are on pine trees. Yeah, okay. Bye bye, everybody. Thou shalt command you to watch free sports again. Right on. According to the Bible, how many commandments did God give to Moses? 11. According to the Bible, how many commandments did God give to Moses? Are you kidding me? No. 10? Yes. Oh.